um, you know, people that are looking at a twin spindle that, that are teasing on a twin turret but probably haven't got the budget of a, of, a, of a twin turret, this is a real nice halfway house to, to break customers into that, into that market. Steve, the Nakamura Tomy uh, SC100X2, I saw this at Emo. Uh, now you've started to bring these into the UK. This one's already sold, and the next one's already next sold as well. Sold, yeah. Why have they sold so quickly, Steve? I think because obviously this, is, this platform of machine with the offset sub spindle is the only machine that has that facility within the, within the Nakamura range. And it's a perfect stepping stone from that twin spindle to twin turret configuration. Um, you know, people that are looking at a twin spindle that, that are teasing on twin turret but probably haven't got the budget of a, of, a, of a twin turret, this is a real nice halfway house to, to break customers into that, into that market. Uh, what does that um, offset sub spindle mean? What, what are you going to be able to do that you can't do without it? So, on this, what is it? Yeah, on, on this particular machine, we have an indexable axis for, of, that, of the sub spindle. Okay? So, it can do one of three things really. Um, obviously, it will transfer the main part and take it over to the subspindle. It drops down and we can use the lower turret to machine on the subspindle. We have superimposed machining, where basically we can use the upper turret while it's working on the main spindle. It has a second tool situated to the, to the back. And because the um, subspindle has its own independent axis, it can be working on that secondary operation at, at the same time. So it is like a hybrid of a, of a, of a twin turret, twin spindle configuration. What are you achieving by doing that though? A reduction in, in, in cut into a reduction in part uh, production time? Yeah, it's cycle time. So if you imagine... It, uh, uh, More cuts at once. Yes, yeah, so if, you, if you're looking at a, twi uh, a true twin spindle, with a single turret, we can only be working on one. If you've got five minutes on the left spindle and five minutes on the right spindle, you've got a 10 minute, 10 minute cycle time. Obviously, when we come over to the sub spindle, the more operations that that can do at the same time, we are we are just eating in to removing that removing that cycle time, and that's what we look at from our WT, our twin turret range. Um, but like I said before, not everybody has the budget um, or the confidence to, to to take that jump to a to a twin to a twin turret. This is a perfect hybrid that just allows you to break into that market. Yeah, where I see it fitting is we've seen a lot of your cu customers have got both the models you talk about, the AS uh, and also the WT, but this, this is right bang in the middle of those two. Yeah. And if that's the case, if I'm right, and uh, I see you nodding there, does that mean you're going to lose a bit of business on the AS or the WT, or do you think there's additional market share for you? No, this, this will complement both, both of those ranges. Um, I think it will probably eat into the twin, the twin spindle market, um, which is a, a very, very flooded market. We're in quite a niche market here um, with this twin spindle, um, twin turret configuration, um, with it being a hybrid between that dedicated twin turret, with having the Nakamura brand name on it as well. Um, I see that we're going to make, make, some, make some ripples in the market with this particular machine.